If you've just put the Happy Model TX on your jumper T-Light, like I have, and you need to get it configured and bound so you can get up in the air flying with Express LRS, this is the video for you. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. We cover everything from whoops all the way up to 250 grams. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is head into Express LRS Configurator, which I've already got here. We're going to select RC8, Release Candidate 8 being the latest one. Device target, we're going to use Happy Model ES24 TX200, uh, 2400TX via Wi-Fi. Um, don't select via UART, select that. Configure your device options as you normally would for Express LRS. Uh, you need to have ISM2400, which is the 2.4 gigahertz um, spectrum. Set your binding phrase. I've got my first and last name, so please don't use that. Um, compatibility options, UART inverted. Um, so keep UART inverted ticked, apparently. Because um, apparently it's how it works for most. That's a new one. Anyway, I always have open TX synced. Requires the nightly builds, um, so make sure you select that. You need to do that in your jumper T light, which we'll come to a bit later. We'll leave that open here. Use 500 hertz. I love having that option. It just works really well for me. Hybrid switches. Um, that's fine. Um, enable telemetry and report. Now, instead of hitting build and flash, we're just going to hit build. What that's then going to do is go and build Express LRS. It's going to download everything from the GitHub, configure it, build it into a firmware.bin file. Boom. Now you can see we've got this firmware.bin. I'm just going to go and right click and copy that. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to paste it. The reason why I want that on the desktop is it'll make sense in a minute, but um, it's a lot easier to go and find the file as opposed to going into the directory where it's normally saved. Now we've got that, here's the fun part. We're going to turn on our jumper T-Light. We're going to hold down the sys button. If you haven't already got the Express LRS Lua script on there, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Hit enter. That's going to connect. We're going to head over to Wi-Fi update. Now from here, we're going to click on Wi-Fi settings and you're going to scroll down there's Express LRS TX module. We're going to click on that. Um, the Wi Fi code is Express LRS all in lowercase. That's going to connect. And we're going to type in 10.0.0.1. From here, you can update your TX model. You can go to the GitHub repository. Now this is where we go firmware update, click choose file. This is where we go back to our desktop, we choose our firmware file, we hit open, we hit the update button. That's then going to update the firmware. 